Welcome to a new Let's Play. This is a game called Transport Services and was recommended to me by, and I'm going to, I apologise, I'm going to pronounce your name badly, but it's either Havaki Spark or Varki Spark. I'm not sure if the H is silent or not. You'll have to tell me about that one. I do apologise. It's a train based game and I did mention that I'm always up for playing a train based game because I like trains. Very simple. I played it for about five minutes just to see how you play the game. And I don't know if any of you remember the game called Transport Tycoon, which I think was a Chris Sawyer game way back in the long distant past, when I first saw it anyway. And you basically transported people or goods by a bus, train or plane to other places. Same with this game. Same principle, apart from this is a lot less polished, shall we say. It's made with the Unity engine. And I will start a new game. I will go on the difficulty easy, because why not? Things don't go wrong on easy mode, apparently. I may play it, change the I may restart at some point and play on normal or hard level. But just to get used to it, I'm going to play on easy. It's a very pretty picture they put on here, I must admit. Aeroport, I assume it's made by someone in Europe. Because rather than airport, it's aeroport. Which kind of gives it a European feel. So. Okay, as it goes off loading. As you can tell by the graphics where all these polygons over here, etc. are. It's not necess it's not a triple 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 A game. Triple A game. Okay, that's how you scroll in and out. Right, that's let's see if I can get this right. That's the hometown. And there should be another town around somewhere. I've got to find it, apparently. Oh, it's over there, and it's Dallas. Now I need to transport people. I've currently got, I think that's 15, 16 people in my hometown. And there's about 18 in Dallas. And if I is it, click that, it shows you that where they want to go. It goes to any city of the same color. So now you can build a bus route, or you can, if you have a clue what you're doing, which I really don't, I can build that, build a train station and put it about there. And if I build a train station at this end, how about, not quite there, there, that should do it. And now I need to build train tracks from one place to the other. And if I can, oops. Now I try to remember, not that way, go like that, then like that, yes it's not the most intuitive building system I must admit, but once you know which direction you want to build, you can drag, now if I can bend you like that. sort of like that-ish. Um, how do you... Ah, that's how you move the camera around. So I can see where... No. Okay. Try going like that and then go backwards. Maybe I can see where I'm going. Okay, not the most elegant train track ever been built. To put it politely. Uh, I'll show you again one more that way, then, then that way. Will that join up? That will apparently join up. Okay, now if I go back and... 
let me go find this this place right um train let's build a train station let's build track i'm pretty sure i connected it is it that one nope that's bus depots that's an airfield i do not want to build an airfield that's the menu Is it that one? No. Have I not connected this in some way? No, oh, it definitely looks connected. I'm trying to figure out. Well, now let's remove my assets. I'm trying to figure out how to get build a train. All right. Let me go to the menu. All right. I can't go back to the menu trains I built a train station that is most assuredly a built a train station okay let's pause the game and nobody ever said I was any good at these things may not be the most elegant but it's definitely connected it's definitely connected oh I know duh right let's click on that let's build a pretty boring train and add a load of passenger cars okay and then if I click on that Yeah, not doing well here. Right, okay. Now maybe if I click on that, no. Train. Go. Okay. Hometown, Dallas. Yeah, that would help. Right, off he goes. Took me a while to figure that out. Oh, perhaps if I unpause the game. And if I... You can see my train with three cars on it, taking all those passengers, 36 of them, from there to Dallas. Now I'm just trying to remember how you turn the screen and stuff like that. And then he will pick up passengers at Dallas and bring them back here. And... Try to remember, that's how you scroll out fast. Yes, I'm not overly used to the controls, but I've only got Hometown and Dallas, and I've spent $500 so far. And there's my trains... ...down here. As I say, it's not the most elegant of graphics or controls. Uh, I play, I've definitely played worse train games. The music's not exactly the greatest either, but... I'm watching my little train go around. Yes, you can do the same with buses. And buses are going to carry a smaller amount of passengers. And I'd have to connect a bus route up via roads. Well, as they, they seem to be quite a distance, I figured, what the heck. And if I scroll in here, you should see this train arrive. And I've currently got $498 now when he gets gets there and unloads okay he's unloaded I've now got $570 and he's on his way back with a load of passengers I don't know if I can actually okay yes he's carrying 36 passengers which he's kept three cars which is the most he can have on the back And he'll come back here. Now, I don't know if I can get two trains down the same track without having a collision. But what I'm thinking is... What the heck, it's worth a shot. Buy another locomotive, put another three cars on it. Yeah. 
and I'm just wondering if I'm going to have a collision. Looks like you can only go one way down the track. Okay. Well, that's not ideal. I've got now got two trains, which are costing me money. It will, as I found out the first time I played this, after a little while, build another city. Just, I just am curious if this is going to actually cause a collision while he's sat in the station. No, he dodges. Okay. Is this train going to go? Ah, new town contract, Nashville. Okay, now he's going to go. All right, fair enough. I've got to, oh, Nashville's all the way over there. Now, if I look at the passengers in Dallas, most of them want to go to hometown, but apparently some of them want to go to Nashville as well. So if I now spend a load of money building a train station in Nashville, Yeah, I like that will do. And now, see if I can find the end of this train station and build some track. Where's Nashville gone? It's over here somewhere. draw the straight line it might be helpful okay now I need to bend him this way slightly and that's Nashville connected okay, um, now where do you most of your passengers want to go to Dallas with a few wanting to go to hometown so what I will do is start a train from here one of the cheap trains and three carriages Add or chain stations on the route, sure. I would love to. You gonna let me? I'm having trouble controlling adding or changing stations. Right, now you go to Dallas, and off you go. So, he'll go to Dallas, and drop people at Dallas, and then pick people up at Dallas that want to go to Nashville. Where is this guy? Well, one of these two trains, I don't know where both trains are now. Where are both trains? Okay, they're both coming back this way at the same time. They will pick up passengers wanting to go to hometown. And this has... You can run a train all the way through with without it actually just stopping dead here. And of course you can build airports and do it by, by plane. See how many, okay, you've got 12 that want to go to Nashville and 19 that want to go to Dallas. So this second train is kind of useless to me at the moment. Now, I don't know, I haven't seen this bit yet, but apparently there are businesses which you can then transport resources from businesses into towns to help grow the town and vice versa from town, I don't know if you can transport from town to town. And, okay, that's all the passengers out of there. And this guy's picking up passengers as well. And so it goes. Again, it's very Transport Tycoon-like in the principles of what it's doing. It just doesn't necessarily have the quite same graphics as Transport Tycoon. 
and I, I'm having a bit of trouble remembering the controls and working my way around at the moment. But from this height, it kind of looks quite nice. Hometown, Dallas, Nashville. Mountains, bits of forests. Snow on the peaks. I, to be honest, if the ground was green and the forest were darker greens, that would be fine too. Because this white ground is a bit odd. And there's my train going into Nashville. It's kind of hard to select from this distance. And hopefully I'll pick up all the passengers that are waiting in Nashville. So that's hopefully he will and come back out shortly. Yep, he picked them all up. And on normal and hard levels, apparently, if you make passengers wait so too long, you get disgruntled, the town goes backwards in growth or whatever it does. Okay, Buffalo. I don't know how buff how close Buffalo is going to be to this area. Okay, that's hometown. Where the heck is Buffalo? No, it's not that far away. see what he's got. He wants people going to Nashville, rather a lot, and load going to hometown. Interesting. Oops, let me... Yeah, the screen moves when you try and zoom in as well, which is a bit annoying. One of the things that needs to be improved, the guy who's the developer, developers, developer, who are doing this, are still working on this game. So, I'm not going to complain much about the game at this point, because, like I say, they're still working on it. Now, where's the train station in Dal in hometown? Let's come out there. And bend round this way. I can bend it the way out. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to miss the train station. Okay, bit of a sharp corner there, but that's life. And then we will click on this one. Another cheap train. Add three carriages to it. And tell you to get a hometown. And off you go. And that way, yes, people will have to change trains at various locations. That really is a bad corner, isn't it? Where are my trains going to? Oh, okay, they're going from hometown currently. And that's the general principle that, as I say, you can build an airport. And transfer, I could transfer people from there to Buffalo via plane. And I assume it gets bigger, more complex. Like I say, there's meant to be businesses which you build up and transport goods into the towns from the businesses or factories or resources. But at the moment, I haven't encountered that. I'm still dealing with the very basics.
and once I've built up a bit of cash I can get better trains that can carry more carriages and transport more passengers that way. There are four towns, 426 people around, total population. 141 of which are in Dallas. wonder how many in a hometown. 138 is that? Yeah, 138. But that is the basic principle of the game. I like I say, this, at the moment I'm still learning it, but it has potential. And if I had a better grasp of how to play games, perhaps I would be doing better at this. Like I wouldn't have two trains going in the same direction on the same line at the same time, because I didn't realise they couldn't pass each other. Little things like that. But, like I say, it, it has potential. I don't know how long it will keep my attention. But it's a train-based game. And, again, the graphics don't really sell it. As you can see, the train line over here it looks like it's got gaps all the way down this train line because of the way the, the graphics work at a distance. I do like the, the mountains and etc. I'm not, I'm not enamoured of the white ground. But I do like the fact the towns actually improve as well. Little stuff like that. And I'm sure as more towns arrive, there will be new and interesting things for me to do. So I may do a few episodes of this, see how well it develops. I'm not sure if I will ever actually use buses. Trains seem far more efficient. Oh, Toledo has now appeared. Don't know where Toledo's appeared. Ah, that would be Toledo over there. So that would then bring it up to five. I believe you can put trains on a path through nine different towns, if you so choose. At the moment, all I'm doing is passing people off from one place to another, kind of like you play mini metro. So it's the game itself up to this point is not exactly truly thrilling I've got a game in my library which I've hardly played someone gave me as a gift called something like Railway Empire Railroad Empire Railway Empire which is again the same type of principle as this but a lot more complex and a lot graphically graphically as far superior but this has enough to keep me interested for now. That's the very first episode of me playing this game. Hopefully it gives you an idea of the basics of the game as I'm still learning. And we'll see how it goes from here. Okay, that's what I'm going to end the first episode of Transport Services. I hope you found it interesting. And hopefully I will see you down the road for, or see you down the track for more episodes some point in the future. Cheerio!